very nice. Ta -da, ta -da. But see, when I do it, I kind of lift the staccato a little bit more. So it's not just like what you would call a generically perfect staccato, but it's a singable staccato, like the singer. And maybe this is more of a trio, you're right, but the violin is on top. Ta -da, ta -da. So what I do? A little. Right, right. Ta That's all I do. I just think up. Ta -da. That's what I say. Now answer that. Yum, bum, bum, bum. You did it. You did it quite well. I liked what you did. Yum, bum, yum, bum. You answered the beginning. Now I do a little, maybe more intensely here. Not really. A little bit deeper because he's going higher, and you know he, he's he's doing the same thing, but he's going higher and he's doing different notes. So it's more intensified a little bit, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Then he would have. Da -da -da -da. And answer that. Yum, bum. Now here's where you really can't start making staccatos that aren't there. Because now he's got longer endings to this, this thing. But he's still doing A flat major on the second half. He has the dualism of keys. Mm -hmm. But he's doing variations now. So the variation is what? He has octaves mm -hmm. and, and he's tying them over, which he didn't do before. He's mm -hmm. tying notes over, so right. that creates a rhythmic alteration um, uh, that's different. So we have to be aware of that. So, so really he's doing ta -di, then ta -di. that's all by itself. And now here he's combining, left hand does the staccato, right hand does not do the staccato, right? Left hand's going bum, 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 but this hand is going ta -di, ta -di. Mm -hmm. Now that's tricky because, you know, one hand's got to do something that the other hand's not doing. And that's tricky. So you have to say to yourself, what is he doing? Right hand is doing everything in slow motion. Mm -hmm. But when you do that, then you do it slow enough that you hear yourself not letting go of notes that don't have staccatos on them. Okay. So the first part is fine. I would go right to mid. The, the tie is. That's where something's this different. Yes. would be the the tenor. The tenor is doing what? Is doing A flat, A flat, G, C. A flat, A flat, G, C, right? Is the top of that? Yeah, but what fingers are doing that? It's one, one, two, one. Here's what you have to practice now. You really have to peel, peel your voices. Okay. So do this. When you learn this piece, you have to learn each voice. Right, and that's exactly right. And the fingering is one, one, two, one. Upstairs in the right hand. Those are octaves, right? Mm -hmm. uh, upstairs separately. And no release. So here. Right. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Can you remember? 
remember how you just did that? You didn't have any staccato. You, you know what it is? What, yes, you have to slide. But what's tricky about that is it's a it's an agogic accent because really that's a half note because he's tying two quarters. Mm -hmm. So you have to enter it from, with a delay. You have to enter it with a delay. Ta -di, ta -di, right? Ta -di. Try to remember that you didn't have any gasping releases of notes that mm -hmm. you're doing legato where you're asked to and you're lifting your hand, but you're not releasing quickly and like crispy staccato. There's no staccato there. He doesn't want staccato. Yeah, the only one that got a little bit short, uh, gaspy was your C on top. Yep. Mm, yeah, so yep. Yep. And that's hard because you're sliding down. You're right. Ta -da. It is a slide. Ta -da. Try to slow this down for practice. Ta -di -da -da. Pum, 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 pum. slow the beat down there just to hear I'm getting everything right. Mm -hmm. That's why I slowed it down because I wanted to make sure I didn't come out with gasps. Mm -hmm. So I went ta -da, ta -da. That's how slow I went. Almost got it. It was just that E flat because we don't have notes on top. That, e, that, that what's ringing out is ta di ta di there's your melody don't let anything upstage that staccato in the left and the right he's got the legato line so he's back to bum, bum, 
Bum, bum. You should practice that alone. Bum, 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 bum. No, the left hand. What is he doing here? He's going. deal with is the out the alto voice which is detached detached right Body, talk disappears there I have a four there uh, you should have a four you should, you should have a four and you can do a three here and then you can do a three because the four comes down to three really easy doesn't it so you do Four, two, four two, three. And, uh, two and four. Uh, and underneath, four. Three. You have, underneath you have one, two for the alto, right? One to two, F to A flat. Yeah, you should have a four upstairs. And then a three. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but remember not to come out with a sharp gasp. I don't think your edition would have a dot on that C, does it? Ah, the difference. Yeah, but, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that my edition, which is your text as well as yours, that F to the A flat below is detached. So you get yeah. this. So, so you have to so you have to do this though. You can't you can't do this. You can't do this. You have to go. Okay. That's right, using a three, four, three, something like that. Because first of all, you yeah. came out of a five, going to the very next note down. Why put another five there? Yeah. Right? If you did have a three five here. So then just going down the scale, fa mi. Just coming down the scale, five, four, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because there's so much possibility, opportunity to, to miss those notes out of the way. Four, three, three, two. Da, da, four, three, three, two. Right? Mm hmm That's what the fingering should be. Okay, so let's see. The fingering is everything. How about two? Ta-di, ta-di, ta so you know exactly what they're doing fingering wise and articulation grouping wise um, and the tricky thing here is he doesn't want he doesn't want he wants because yeah. remember he did that before he did that before we went da, da, da. remember he broke that right he's breaking that again right. so it's the second violin the second violin doing that you know separate bows right and you have to learn it voice by voice even though it takes a lot of patience Mm -hmm. I remember when I learned it, I learned the alto voice separately with the right fingering. I learned the treble voice at the beginning of a trio. Mm -hmm. um, then he adds the octave, so you have, more, you have more like a quartet because he has four voices. He plays an octave out of some of these things that he only had one note on the top right. Octave. Now you have a quartet, four voices. Four, you hear four, right? Even though one is doubled. But I think the, the, the story is not only to do that, but go very, very, very slowly. Force yourself to play ta -di, ta -di, everything. Um, look how slow I'm going. Because I want to do everything right. Ta -di, ta -di. Yes, sir. Um, 